Hi everyone, this is Modern Windows Fan Video. I'm Adam, and this is episode one of our tutorial series on Project Sienna. Project Sienna is an app that Microsoft has released to the Windows App Store as a beta. Um, but it's a very interesting app because it's an app that lets you create apps. Uh, it's a visual app uh, development system. Um, but what's really wonderful and really kind of cool about it is um, instead of being a code editor, it's a visual app creation system. So you lay out, uh, you create an app by laying controls out visually in much the same way that you'd lay out, say, a PowerPoint or a, a Word document. Um, and then you're able to add intelligence and functionality with rules that are only about as complicated as uh, Excel macros. So if, um, if you are you know, kind of able to use Office, if you're able to kind of understand Office and do some more advanced Office stuff, you can do, uh, you can make apps with Project Sienna. Um, Project Sienna is great uh, no matter what your skill level is with computing. If you are an app developer, uh, then there is actually a lot of value in, in Project Sienna. It lets you create interfaces and fully functional projects quickly. It allows you to prototype rapidly. Um, I, I am a web app developer, I can, I can write Windows Store apps, and I'm actually able to get going and get a head start much faster with Project Sienna than I am with Visual Studio. And you can actually take the apps you, you, you make and turn them into Visual Studio projects uh, and go from there. Uh, if you're uh, just kind of a, if you're not an app developer, if you're just somebody who's interested in maybe seeing what they can do, maybe you have an idea for an app for your work or your business, your church, your school, whatever, uh, you could make an app. Um, and like I said, it's only about as complicated as, you know, making, uh, you know, a, a pretty rich PowerPoint or, you know, using Excel and, and Word. Um, and so uh, what we're gonna do in this video is we're going to go over kind of the basics. So this series is gonna take you from the very ter basic terms and concepts all the way up to creating a couple of apps. Uh, in our next video, we're going to get into some of the actual programming and we're going to actually make, uh, you know, start interacting with visuals and, and make an app do something. But in this video, we're going to go over the entire Project Sienna user interface. We're going to understand every single part of, of Project Sienna so that we don't look at it like the cockpit of a 747. And we're going to learn all the Project Sienna terms and concepts. They, you know, Project Sienna has, has all these different things and they have very specific names. And for the rest of the video series, we're gonna be using the correct terminology. So we're gonna use this video to kind of establish what that terminology is. Um, Project Sienna is free. Uh, it is a beta. Uh, whether or not Microsoft will turn it into an actual, you know, marketable product, we'll see. I personally hope so. Since I've been taking the time to learn it, I've realized it's an exceptional tool, an exceptionally empowering tool. Um, but for now, it is a beta. It's free on the uh, Windows apps, on the Windows Store. So just go over to the Windows Store on your Windows 8 PC uh, and uh, you can go grab it. Uh, the only caveat is that uh, Project Sienna only runs on Intel and AMD processors. Um, it won't run on an ARM processor, processor, like an NVIDIA processor. So if you have a, um, a Surface 1, or a Surface 2, not the Pro, the Surface 1 or Surface 2, uh, you, you won't be able to run Project Sienna. I hope that in the future they release Project Sienna for all platforms Windows supports, but for now you need to have an Intel or AMD processor. Um, so go, go over to the, uh, the Windows Store and grab Project Sienna, uh, and then let's get into it. So I'm gonna kind of snap myself over here. And uh, so here, over here, we have uh, the Project Sienna interface. Um, and we're gonna just go from the very basics through what all this stuff means, because it, it looks like a lot, um, but this is actually a very simple logical interface. So this, this white box here, uh, this is the first screen that comes with our app. And we can see up here, it's a screen one. Apps in, in Project Sienna are made of screens. Uh, you could have, you know, one screen, two screens, three screens. You can show different things on different screens. Um, picture this. 
Uh, you might have an overview page that has you know a group of pictures, and then you know you tap on that screen, you tap on on that picture, and it takes you to a new screen that is the detail for that picture. So pages, I'm, I'm sorry, screens are what your app is made of. Um, but you can see this screen has nothing on it. It says add a visual. Um, the, the things that make apps interesting and interactive are visuals. So if we click this plus symbol in the upper right here, this is the visuals palette. And here we have all of the visuals that we are uh, able to use in our app. And there's actually a lot here. We have a text label, button, image, sliders, down to video players, audio players. You can do a lot with this. Um, you add a visual to a screen by just tapping it or clicking it. So here we've got a, a label. Um, we can add a button. So here we've got a button and a label. So now we've got a couple of visuals uh, on, on our screen. But how do you customize visuals? How do you, how do you work with them? Well, you use the edit bar down here. Uh, visuals have properties. Uh, the easiest way to explain properties is to just think of real, physical, everyday objects, because real, physical, everyday objects have properties. Uh, you know, a chair has height and width and weight. Uh, a ball has color and density. Uh, and so a button has properties like color, the, or the color it's filled with, or its border color, or the text inside of it. The label has properties too, like uh, the color inside of it and, and, and the actual text that's displayed. We use the edit bar to interact with and make changes to the properties for visuals. If we select a visual, so we click on this button, you see this border around it, that means it's selected. The edit bar changes uh, to reflect the properties for uh, the visual that we're working with. So if we click on design, we see font, size, style, color, and even more under more. Um, the content of the edit bar will change depending on the visual, you know, because um, you know, a button has different properties than a label, et cetera, et cetera. Um, to go over all the things down here, um, let me see if I can get it back to the fall here. So to go over everything down here, we have data, which we are able to uh, bind uh, visuals to data. We're going to talk about that in later, um, later episodes. We have on select, this is a behavior. So you can make uh, certain things happen uh, depending on certain behaviors, like for example, tapping a button. Uh, we will talk about behaviors in later episodes. Here are some of the, the, visual, the visual designs. So you can pick a new font. You can pick a new font size, and actually we can we can do this. Let's take the label and let's um, make the font bigger, and let's uh, align it to the center. And you can see also this is a very handy feature of Project Sienna. Keep an eye on this uh, when. Um, when you get visuals close to each other, as you move them around the screen, you get these nice guides. See the purple line there? So that you can really get your things, uh, really get your visuals lined up, make your app look nice, so pay attention to those. Uh, keeping going, we have color. This is not the color that we fill the box with, it's the color of the text. Uh, if we go to more, we have more design elements. Fill is the color that we fill it with, you know, so we can do like a, now it looks like a button, so let's do yellow. Um, and there's a whole bunch under here. So you can, uh, you know, just grab, you know, open the palette and bring a visual in and then just kind of explore uh, the, the design elements, the design properties here in the edit bar. Um, we've also got a couple of um, options down here that are global. So zoom is how zoomed in your, uh, your, your screen is. Um, this doesn't affect how the app looks when it's running, it just affects when you're designing it. Uh, you can zoom in real tight if you want to make really fine-tuned edits to the, to the layout of your app. And you can actually create, you know, uh, very, very exact tiny lines and things like that for, for nice design touches. So I'll leave it at 90 here. And edit is uh, your, kind of like an edit menu in a desktop app. It's gonna have undo, redo, um, copy and paste. So I could select this label 
edit, copy, and then I can paste. And if I were to move this by mistake, I could uh, I could undo. And that's that's really handy because uh, you know I'm using a mouse here, so I can get really exact. But if you're uh, using Project Sienna with your finger and you've got uh, a lot of visuals on the screen, uh, you might move one by mistake. You might nudge it by mistake, and you can just you know hit the edit bar real quick and hit undo. Um, the last one over here uh, is one that once you get comfortable with it, you'll probably use a lot. I use it constantly. It's the express view. The express view pops this panel out here, and this displays every single property that's associated with that visual, with the visual that's selected, uh, all in one list. If you, if you look, the sections here are the same as the sections on the left. So we have behavior, and it says on select, that's the behavior here. It says data, that's data here. And then all this design stuff is exactly what we just looked at, but it's, it's uh, in here instead of over here. Uh, as you get comfortable with the Project Sienna interface, you can start to really fly around by using uh, Express View. And you can actually uh, search in here. So if we search for fill, you know, there, there's our fill. So um, there's no right or wrong way to interact with it. If you like to use uh, these buttons, these menu buttons down here on uh, the edit bar, you can do that. If you like Express View, you can do that. If you like to use both, you can do that. Um, one thing to keep in mind is the, uh, the amount of information or the amount of options that you see in the edit bar will change depending on how much screen re resolution you have and um, to, you know, to what degree Windows is scaling your screen. So if you have like a, a little, like I have a little eight inch um, Dell Venue uh, Pro 8 and that guy only shows a couple of icons down the bottom. Uh, but I've got my Surface Pro 2 here, and I've got the screen resolution cranked all the way up, and I've got the scaling off, uh, and we see a ton here. So how, how many options you see down here is going to be dependent on your screen, but you will always see everything in Express View. Uh, up here in the upper left, we showed this before, is this is the screen dropdown. So if we had multiple screens, there would be multiple screens here. And you can actually rename the screen because screen one isn't a great name, we could call this like home screen. It's good, uh, it's good practice to give your visuals very clean and easy to understand names or else it can start to get confusing. Uh, the same thing is true of uh, your visuals here. So if we take our button, when we select it, we see it's button one and we could change that to, you know, blue button and our label, we could change it to like yellow label and um, this drop down menu is good because it when you have a lot of visuals on your screen uh, it can be tough to especially when you've got them overlapping it can be tough to uh, to pick out which ones you want um, so you can use this to select so I could say blue button Oh, and there is a, there's one more option down here that I, I forgot to mention before down in the edit bar is this arrange button. This is when you get into making really, um, when you get into uh, really kind of designing apps and, and having a lot of visuals on the screen and trying to really lay it out exactly the way you want. Uh, order allows you to specify um, what visuals are in front or in back of other visuals. So if we take this button and drag it over this label, we see the button covers the label. But what if we wanted the label covering the button? We can go to Arrange, Order, and we can say uh, Arrange Front. So you can, uh, you can kind of arrange um, like a stack of papers, which visuals are on top of and behind others. There's uh, one more uh, bit of user interface that we're gonna show here, and it's the menu bar. So if you right click anywhere, if you're using a mouse, if you right click anywhere, or if you're using touch, if you swipe up from the bottom of the screen, you'll see the menu bar at the top. In the menu bar, we have the file menu where you can save your Project Sienna projects, open Project Sienna projects, and publish them. We have app data, um, which allows you to actually bring data in from outside sources like Facebook or Bing 
or uh, a whole bunch of other stuff, Excel, um, and use those with your app. Um, we will talk about data sources in depth in further videos. Uh, help is links to the Project Sienna uh, website. Um, so the help and forums and things. If you, if you have a question, if you're unsure about something, there's a good community there. Uh, and if you ask a question, somebody might be able to help you. And finally, there's this add screen button. So, you know, we have our one screen, home screen, but we could add our second screen, you know, and call it uh, you know, detail screen. And we can switch between them. And notice we don't have any visuals on our, our detail screen. We have some on our home screen. So from the menu bar, you can see your screens and you can uh, add them with add screen. You can delete them with a little X up here. And the last button up here is preview. If you, uh, if you run preview, you will actually see what your app uh, is running like, you know, as a real app. And uh, you can get back to uh, the design, the Project Sienna interface by right clicking or swiping up and going back to design. So that is the, um, that is the uh, Project Sienna user interface. Um, remember the terminology, that was the stuff I really wanted to hit home on in this video. Uh, apps are made of screens. Screens contain visuals. Visuals have properties. The edit bar is where you can get to properties. Express view lists all properties. In the menu bar, we can add screens and remove screens. And so that is the Project Sienna user interface. Uh, in the next video, we're going to spend some time talking about um, uh, properties and uh, some more of you know, the actual programming, what you can do with these visuals and how you can make them uh, work in your app. Uh, so thank you very much for watching.